I find that the, the English flag, which represents in my head terrorism, all right, the terrorism of the uh, uh, of, of, of the Crusaders who stormed around Europe, putting everybody, man, woman and child to the sword who wasn't a Christian. And that's what that flag to me says. Mm. Secondly, I'm trying to get an, L, uh, an LP. I'm trying to get an MP on the programme tonight from the Labour Party. And the Labour Party seem to be very, very reticent to come on because I have ha ne I've never heard so much... Mm. Oh, what's that? Well, you mean what Keir Starmer was saying? So much rubbish that comes what? out of the mouth of Keir Starmer. Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gibberish. Ridiculous. He's an idiot. He blames I mean, it on Boris Johnson. Any racism, to... oh, it's Boris Johnson's fault. Ridiculous. If I hear anybody going on, listen, guys, the footballers too, taking the knee, it does not rep represent in most people's minds anti-Semitism. Taking the knee is a support of an organisation called Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter want to change everything. They're an organisation that wishes to get rid of the police, it wishes to change family values. It wishes to make the world an appalling, disgusting, awful place. Taking the knee, in my view, in my view, and if you want to argue about it, if you're watching the numbers on the screen, if you're listening on talk radio, it's 0344 499 1000. If you want to argue the point with me and Ash, get on the phone and call us. But, you you know, you better make a good... And what's the obsession with football, the anyway? Knee, what's the obsession with football? Why no doesn't it happen idea. in anything, any other field where there's racism in the whole of society? Mm. But it seems to be yeah. just football and fans why, get the blame for everything. Why, when Trump is taken off social media, are these racist lunatics allowed to carry on? Yeah. Well. And the behaviour by not all the people who like football, obviously, because I think our boss likes football, but not all the people. But a lot of you are just hooligans. The mess you made in, in the towns and cities yeah. and the capital watching this match was disgusting. And we, the taxpayer, pay for it. You are morons. If you were out there trashing the place, fighting, and, and just, just, you're morons. I got you shoved. Are absolutely I got shoved flipping yesterday. morons. I just, you? you know, I bumped into Nigel Farage, our old friend, Nigel yeah. Farage. He yeah. got led through very quickly. Then suddenly I got nudged and there were like 100 fans, well, not fans, look, hooligans just steamed morons. in. And morons. morons. And climbed over the mm. thing and ran. All, and they all got up the stairs and, well, a load of them. Mm. And a lot of them got in the stadium, as we all know. I don't know why he wanted to go. It's such a disgusting place. It's full of common people wrapping themselves up in the terrorist No, it was flag. a very small amount, a very small amount of, of hooligans. Really? Most people behave. Not from what I saw on the television. They were in pubs and clubs all over the country, oh, yeah, throwing yeah. beer well, at each other, fans. jumping up and down. They're just hooligans. Well, they say they, they are. are. No, proper fans wouldn't watch it in a pub. Wouldn't they? Proper football aficionados. And the, then people stuff. tried to actually storm Wembley, apparently. No, that's what I'm saying. Um, I was at Wembley, and that's when they all I got pushed out of the way. And hundreds of people... Nigel must have got crushed, because I'd literally just said goodbye about a minute before. Mm. And they all ran up the stairs and loads of them got in. And they, what they did, they hugged people who were going in the turnstiles and actually got in by sort of mm. hugging right up to them, going through and then running through up the stairs and then just getting in seats. Moronic behaviour by people who are yeah. in some way deficient. And, and, you know, we've got so many cameras around the place. Why can't these people be tracked down and given well, they the fright will be. of their lives? But there wasn't well, enough policing, I don't think, or stewards as there normally would be at Wembley during club dogs matches. Dogs are FA Cup. Now, look, they've set the dogs off. During Every FA time Cup I matches, mention the F-O-O-T-B-A-L-L word, they go mad now. Yeah, they're a big football fan. They're angry about what No, they hate it. They, they, as soon as I say that's a... Dogs fan. love football. Everyone knows that. They, they can get well, on the like pitch. they like to play it. They don't yeah, like they looking at it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just and every every vox pop on every news station, not of course talk radio and talk radio TV, spoke to some moronic person who could hardly speak properly. I mean, one woman was asked, um, "Well, what do you think about it?" Good, I'm good, and then turned to her yeah. husband, "And what do you think?" Good. I don't know. I'm going to get over it. I mean, we didn't deserve the wake up. Italians were better, and we but we did have had a chance if Southgate would have played a more attacking side, brought Grealish out earlier, and you know. Oh, actually, Stern, no, I don't give a shh. Yeah, that's what, I you know, it Gellis, was our chance. No, no. We were at the fifth best team. I mean, we, so we were lucky. anybody can defend the scumbags, the moronic scumbags, who actually 
rampaged through the capital city towns and bars throughout the country, and they think that's funny. And the arrogance, by the way, of singing football's coming home. I mean, that is another thing. That is that is just well, and the ignorance. You're asking it's for ignorant trouble. as In well ignorance. because it means the tournament's coming. Soon. It doesn't mean the, the 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 trophy is. It was written in '96 mm. for Euro '96. The football's coming. I meant the tournament's being. So they've misinterpreted it anyway. Yeah. So they look yeah. like ignorant fools when they say it. Bring yeah. it home and all this. I mean, I, the other thing that I found really embarrassing for us being British, was the booing of the Italian national anthem. So, yeah. actually, I want you guys to find the Italian national anthem. I'm going to play I like it. the Italian national anthem. It's I think nice. it's better than it's ours. It's a real toe-tapper. Yeah, well, I don't want to insult Her Majesty because I'm a big royalist, as you know, but I do think it's time we changed our national anthem. You can't anthem call ours a toe-tapper. It's a, no, it's a it's hair a tingler, all right, but it's not a toe-tapper. Yeah. yeah, but maybe time for a, a change. So, Keir Starmer... You need to learn a lesson. You need to learn that taking the knee is not against racism. Kick racism out of football was a really good yeah. logo. So who told the players, because they probably didn't make it up themselves, who told them to take the knee? Because they're getting booed, yeah. not because people are they're racist. Hypocrites. They're getting booed because it is a ridiculous thing to do. Because yeah. the Premier players who played for other sides, like Belgium, they didn't take the knee when they were playing for Belgium. <laughs> so they obviously didn't have yeah. the strength of character. To, to, mm. So that just shows they're hypocrites. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sickened Cowards. by it. I'm absolutely Chickens. sickened by it. Chickens. And Keir Starmer, who's probably the worst leader of any political party, even worse than Tony Blair and John Major, um, is just getting on my nerves at the moment. Every well, time he opens yeah. his mouth and he's a bit sweaty, it annoys me. But why now, would you put, I would like... put your three youngest players taking penalties? Southgate should have learnt from his own mistakes. Don't put an 18-year-old. Mm. He was crumbling. You could see... We had yeah, Sterling, no, we had Grealish that yeah. could have taken him, and he gives it to kids yeah. who were crumbling under yeah. the pressure. Well, he, and he should know more than anyone. Fault. Yeah, Ince yeah. should have taken his penalty. One. Yeah, he missed. Yeah. Now, this is for all my Italian friends. I mean, you know, we spend a lot of time in a, a restaurant called it. Little Italy in London. Yeah. You know, there's uh, there's the Italian connection <clears throat> in Harrogate where we spend loads of time in. There's Ciao Bella. There are loads of Italian restaurants all over the country, and I'm dedicating this to all those Italians who live with us in Britain. It's a beautiful country, and this is for them with no booze. Take it away, maestro.